Hey, how are you? It's Beer Man and Plant Man. Happy Memorial Day. This is a great holiday. Really thank you for all who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country's freedom. Something I've always done is installed flowers on Memorial Day. It was always a three day weekend. I would work my tail off all spring. Memorial Day, I'd be able to stay home at least one day, I hope, and install some flowers. I always think it's great for the summer. I always do a little bit of mulching later in the spring just because the pollens fell, the helicopter sun and maples, all that sort of stuff. We put some vinca in today. It's fun doing with the boys. All right. This is the bed where we had looked at Riverstone before in a previous video. Riverstone's not covered with dirt and mud anymore, if you remember. Really nice color on this. It's a bit of a mess, but there's some Euchara, Purple Palace, Stilby, really great shade plant. The deer won't eat it. We have heavy deer pressure out here in the woods. It's gonna have flowers. You see the buds there. There's another Euchara. This is Caramel, really nice color. This area is shaded probably 85% of the day. Get some morning sun. It's another purple palace euchre, another caramel. This was a boxwood that was here. It do really well. Boxwoods are great plants. Gold mop cypress. Nice to get some evergreen color here around the pond. Did some annuals. I know the kids love it. It's fun for kids to be able to see annuals grow. These will probably grow 10 times the size that they are. It's really awesome to watch all summer. I believe this might be uh, Cherokee Euchra. This is a fire chief. Nice color on that. Really like those. So, weeping blue juniper. Really cool plant. You can see it's like a small tree. Pretty neat. Another caramel juniper. This is an upright uh, blue spruce dwarf one. Not doing awesomely. I think it wants more sun. It's hanging in there. Another cool stilby. It's another stilby just planted this to get some nice color. We had some stuff not make it out here, so. We'll try some new stuff. This is a really cool one there Cypress. I think there's a cool, they're like bonsai trees if you ask me. Look at all that new growth this year so far. Probably nine inches. Pretty cool. This is a, well, here's Russian Sage. It's gonna stay kind of small cause it's a little shady over here, but this area gets more sun. These get great purple flowers. They attract a lot of pollinators. Deer definitely won't eat them. Very tough, they like the heat. This is Mahonia. I did some videos for this um, earlier in the spring, late winter. They have great winter color. There's the blue berries. Really interesting feature of this plant. I just love Mahonia. I think they're really cool. Got great colors on the leaves. They had very fragrant yellow flowers earlier in the spring. You see the color on that? A lot of times you only get that sort of great color in the fall. You see this stuff all year long on the Mahonias. Really cool. I love the way the berries look. Fruit. This one uh, is big. It take a long time to get that big. And we got some Penicetin dwarf grass, dwarf fountain grass. This will grow uh, about the size of a beach ball, probably about three times the size it is. It gets cool feathery plumes, kind of look like caterpillar, somebody said to me before. This is a Coreopsis zagreb. Can have some great yellow flowers. So, we gotta have a limited variety because we have a lot of deer, but and Mandina domestica, really cool. It's pushing up these white flowers now. It's got kind of big white flowers. I wonder if there's any berries left on here. These have great berries in the uh, winter. You see, some berries hiding. They get a lot more, and that's cool because you can see it right inside the kitchen. This is a Japanese painted fern. I love these. I think they're super cool. All right. This tree uh, is Cunning Hamia Lassium Fola. Um, China Fern. Very abnormal. Conifers like this, these are very pointy leaves. Conifers that look like this, maybe a bald cypress, maybe a uh, dawn redwood. But this is not the growth habit of the branches. 
much more thin and the needles are way different. And if you could see the uh, cones, they'd be way different as well, the nuts. It took a while to figure this one out. Good buddy of mine, Steve Sullivan. Steve Sullivan. Each one, probably uh, two weeks, we thought it was a few different things. They're really rare, which is cool because we actually have three of them. All right, so you see that one next to the house? And then there's one right here. Look at that. Probably 70 feet tall. Really cool trees. The bark is shreddy. So when I first saw this house, it was the winter. January, and these still had their needles. But they looked like bald cypress to me. But bald cypress and dawn redwood don't have their needles in the winter. So it was really confusing. But we figured it out. Cunninghamia, China fern. Definitely a different one. The neighbors got one too, which is really cool. And then uh, about a couple blocks away, there's a house with one. So these are probably planted. This house was built in 1960. Um, they're probably planted, you know, 50 years ago. Really neat. It's not often we come across trees can't figure out. So that's it. Happy Memorial Day. Um, if you're still watching, um, that's cool. I hope you really like looking at plants, watching my videos. I have a YouTube channel, Beerman and Plant Man. You can search William Beerman Jr. Check it out and subscribe. Um, Memorial Day, I'm always so thankful to be home when so many people are giving their lives. I've read a lot of really cool books. I'm interested with Navy SEALs stories and training and dedication and just how great teamwork they have, discipline and training. Um, American Sniper about Chris Kyle. Lone Survivor about Marcus Luttrell, awesome books. Uh, Brandon Webb has wrote a few books. The Red Circle, he's an awesome sniper and a trainer now. So, thank you to all that served and gave the ultimate sacrifice. I definitely appreciate it. I'm here enjoying my freedom, working on my garden. I think it's a great American freedom. We can do what we want and not be bothered. Freedom to improve our land. All right. Have a great one. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you. See ya.